So guys, today we got something really different that we haven't done before in these videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a stencil. And what I mean by that, I mean that we're going to laser cut it out of ABS and have it so that you can actually use it to brand something. So we're going to go straight to design and show you how we're going to cut them to actually make it a stencil. So here we've got our numbers out in front of us and I've already done the letters so I'm just going to show you how to find the best place to cut so that nothing falls out when you're actually using it as a stencil. So first thing I'm going to do is merge my layer so that I don't have anything separated. From there we're going to take our eraser. Now it doesn't really matter the size that you're going to be cutting out, it just matters where and what place. So for instance most places what we do is we're going to cut down the middle and that is the easiest for the O and for the one we are not going to do anything and two as well as three there is no holes inside like the actual zero so that way we don't have to cut anything because wherever there's a hole for instance we're going to cut this but this will end up falling out and then you actually just have a giant uh, four. So if I can show you what I'm talking about, let's say for instance we are cutting this out of stencil basically the four will look like this instead of having uh, a cutout area and then an open area here. So we go back to our eraser and we are going to cut a line over here or actually even better we cut one here and we cut one there. Right, let's make it a little bit straighter. There we go. All right, so now at least there you'll have an open area where you can actually see it's the number four. Number five we don't need to do, number six we have to. So we just do a cut like that. Seven not, and then eight we definitely have to. So we're just gonna go straight down the middle for eight. And then from a number nine we also do the same thing, we're just going to cut down the center. Okay, so now that we've done that, we have actually created a stencil for each of these and especially for the ones that have open areas in the middle, you definitely need to cut that somewhere on at least two sides and not just do it on one. So now that that's finished, what we can do is take this to get vectorized. So we're going to open up our AI. Okay, so now that we have to go and vectorize our design, we're just going to open up an A4. And once that's open, we're going to then drag this onto the document that, drag it straight there and we're going to close that one and all I need to do is just actually trace it and there we have it, I'm going to expand it, ungroup and then get rid of our white area. So now that we've finished with the actual numbers all I have to do is export them as a DXF and then import them into RDWorks. Now I've gone ahead and already done the letters so that we could just move on and I'll show you exactly the settings that we're going to be doing and then we're going to move to our laser. So what we did with the letters is just as simple as going and importing the letter and then what I went ahead and did was grab my square tool or rectangle tool and we just made a square to the size that we are looking for. And then when I imported all my letters, all I needed to do is just go ahead and select one and then move it into the square. Go ahead and group it and then make sure that it is centered within that block. And then it was done. So now from here, because I already did that and I'll, I've loaded it in that order, we'll go ahead and delete that one. And let's go have a look at our settings. Now, because we're going to be cutting this out of ABS, I wanted to make sure that we don't cut too slowly because when cutting ABS, you find that the slower it goes, the more likely you have the ABS, once it's cut through, it is still very hot. It ends up melting back to itself. So you don't want to cut ABS too slow um, and you don't want to cut it too fast. So I'm going with 100 millimeters per second and 60% power. Now some people might think 60% might be not, not enough, but I've got a 150 watt tube, so 60% is more than enough at the speed that we're running. And we're only cutting through one mil ABS and not three. 
So now that those settings are set, we're going to say OK, select our artwork, and I'm going to save it to a memory stick. OK, so now we've finished with our artwork, we're going to head over to our laser, load in the actual software, and get cutting. So see you there. When you are laser cutting ABS, you have to be very careful of the fumes. You mustn't breathe them in at all. And when it comes to the actual cutting of the ABS, you want to try and stay away from sharp edges. Purely because ABS is a plastic and it isn't acrylic or perspex, when you're cutting slowly, some edges might melt back to each other purely because it's hot, melted plastic and it might fuse back. But at the same time, when you're doing corners, a sharp corner most likely will come out a little bit uh, obscure, a little bit skew, and it won't come out exactly correct purely because you're talking about melted plastic that has just been cut and it doesn't have the opportunity to solidify fast enough at a straight angle. So try and have rounded corners so that you prevent yourself from having a odd shape. Okay guys, we've finished cutting all of our letters out. Now we're actually going to physically test our stencil. And I just wanna say before we go ahead, the reason why I did it out of plastic is purely so that it has the ability to bend and conform around anything. So let's say for instance, this person wants to label their gas bottle, um, something that's got you know a cylindrical um, item, then at least they can curve it and tape it on and then actually stencil it and label the item. So this can be used for anything, so we're gonna quickly test it, tape it to our board that we've got here and see if it works, which it should. Okay guys, we are finished and we have done a test. I'm very happy with the way it came out. So this is exactly how I made stencils. If you wanna make your life easier and make the border bigger so that you don't have any overspray, go ahead and do so. But I simply made these very small purely because he's wanting to do it on smaller items and because it's plastic, it can actually wrap around the item and you tape it down, spray it and then let it dry and then your job is done. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. marks the 10th anniversary of am.co.za in the South African market. And through that time, we have experienced considerable growth and expansion with the support of our valued customers. To mark our 10th anniversary, we have bought a warehouse at Sunny Rock in East Grand, and we will commence with renovation and construction in 2023. The facility will comprise a massive 2,000 square meter warehouse, 300 square meters of demonstration space, 150 square meters of sales space, and 400 square meters of spare part storage on the top floor. 550 square meters of showroom space on the middle floor. 400 square meters for Machine Dot Africa for machine repairs with its own dedicated entrance. And a 250 square meter tea garden and coffee shop for your convenience. Our group now comprises four businesses. AM.co.za is our main business and supplies the machines, spare parts and consumables. Machine.Africa does the installations for our clients and handles on-site and factory repairs. Ambitious Academy ensures that our clients achieve the very best levels of productivity by providing training and certification. And our automated AI-driven online store, Buy This, brings all products online and distributes countrywide. We invite you to be part of this exciting journey as we establish our new headquarters. Watch as the process unfolds and be part of the adventure to meet all of your machinery and productivity needs with this magnificent new facility. am.co.za. Achievement matters.